It says it's tough being white. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm mixed, so I guess it's tough being part white, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, care. I just, I just be me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop all being you, me. Yes, that's all we need to do is be us. What's going on tonight, everybody, man? Back with another comedy video. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one. Got another guest in the house, but we will get to that in a second. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, like I said, we got a guest in the house. My man B-Rob in the house. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Finally got him on the show one time. We just came from a Mariners game. We lost, and that was disappointing. But... We are here now to have some fun, man, to drown our sorrows in some comedy. For sure. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I just uh, picked something at random today. Uh, we thought about music or comedy or anything else, but we came up with this one. And uh, we're going to get into somebody that I have not gotten to on the channel before. And uh, never heard of this guy. His name is uh, Rocky Dale Davis. Sounds like a boxer's name, don't yeah, it? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's over, Rock, or <laughs> something like that. But no, man, it's on um, an episode of Chocolate Sundays, and uh, like I said, I've never heard of this guy before. But we're gonna see if he's funny, man. I don't know if he's gonna be or not. So, yeah, are you ready for this one? I'm ready, bro. All right. So, okay, I'm gonna get into it in a second. So, um, uh, this title is going to be "It's Tough Being White." <laughs> Okay, the title is funny in and of itself already. So, yes, we're going to find out if it's tough being white or not. I don't know. I imagine it's tough just being human, you know, but, you know, we don't talk about that. We're in America. Everyone's got to whine, bitch, and complain about something. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it, man. Uh, Rocky Dale Davis with It's Tough Being White. And if you like this reaction, please put on the like button for me one time so you had to get me on that. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and, of course, leave a nice comment for your boy. Uh, constructive critiques, leaving a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Don't need any of that. Got enough of it in our lives already. So, uh, yeah, man, um, didn't want to talk too much because he's got uh, his own show on mine. It's called Just Get To It. <laughs> he no, already tells no. me that. No, he don't no, even no. like when I talk that <laughs> much either. I already get enough bad comments. Uh, but, okay, you ready? We're going to do this. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Rocky Dale Davis with It's Tough Being White. Right here on Eddie B TV, my man B Rob. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you, brother. Let's get our laugh on. All right, here we go. It's cool. I, uh, I'm from Alabama. Thank you. Thank you, everyone that clapped. The rest of y'all are like, shit. <laughs> they can fly. No, um, <laughs> it's cool. It, it's, it's you know, it's it's tough because my girlfriend's Spanish, I think, and uh, you think. You know, so me and her dating, it's wild. You know, it's tough because I'm the first white guy she's dated since uh, middle school. Yeah, she's in high school now, but uh, <laughs> she made honor roll. We are so proud of her, man. <laughs> so Didn't miss a goddamn day. <laughs> nah, it's a joke. My girlfriend is very old. You know, she's 33. And uh, <laughs> that pissed you off, man? <laughs> I was fucking a high schooler 10 seconds ago when you were laughing away. <laughs> <laughs> That's women right there. Pedophilia? Ha ha ha. 33's old. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> true, true. Yeah. Oh, man. Y'all know, it's just tough to be white, you know? Um, <laughs> joke killed in Kansas City. Fuck you. Oh, man. It's oh, just tough. Yeah. She traveled the world for 10 years, you know? Dated a Colombian guy, Dominican guy, Egyptian guy. And then she just went from that straight to me. I'm like, bitch, that's your fault. Like, you can't go Egyptian to Bass Pro Shops overnight, you know? You gotta ease into this level of white, dude. I got a Costco Gold membership, okay? Like, I can have four people to my plan, you know? It just be sucks plan, being white because we're not mysterious, man. That's like a bummer, you know? You look at me, you know everything about me, you know? <laughs> Waffle House, Home Depot, bang! Like, it's just, it's a bummer. 
I don't even have the sexy, like, uh, southern, like, McConaughey accent. Like, I literally had the Forrest Gump, Alabama. <laughs> you hear me talk, you're not like, mmm. You're like, mmm, where's his guardian at? Uh, <laughs> how'd you get this far from the facility, buddy? You want some candy? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I like candy a lot. I'll take the candy. I love some candy. Yeah. It just sucks, man. It's a bummer, for real. I wish we were, like, mysterious, you know? Like, I can't, like, I can't do an ancestry test, you know? Like... Alabama ancestry test? I'm good on that. <laughs> Woo. You ain't gonna like you the know? results, man. Her Egyptian boyfriend does one. You know, what comes back? Oh, wow, your great-great-grandfather invented magic, you know? <laughs> you do one on my family, you're like, shit, his great-grandfather was a grand wizard. <laughs> If y'all don't know what that is, just Google it when you leave. Oh, and it's no. gonna be like a 1900s photo of me. <laughs> <laughs> no smile. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's it? Oh, wow. oh, man, that was a short one. Okay, I didn't mind that one. <laughs> Came out with the Grand Wizard. <laughs> you a Grand Wizard, man. You go way back in the time oh, on that. Oh, man. Oh. Well, that was fun. I don't know. He didn't really break down how much it was tough being white. That was just kind of like a throw-in line. Right. A little bit. A little clickbait, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, they caught me slipping on that one, so I guess I got to eat that one. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that was Rocky Dale Davis with It's Tough Being White. Well, I mean, I imagine these days it's probably a little bit tougher being white because everyone's like throwing the punishment card at you. It's all right. We deserve it. <laughs> Only a little we'll bit. We'll take it a little bit. It's all good. Take it in stride. Okay. We can handle it. <laughs> I mean, like, um, I don't have, like, uh, American white, you know, as far as my family tree, really. My white side came from Germany. Like, the capital of Nazi land. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, goodness. I don't know, like, if it's true or not, but apparently my grandmother, I think, met Hitler before. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. I, it could well, be a lie. What was going on there? I have no idea. <laughs> you maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe that's why my <laughs> grandmother was so hell-bent on moving to America <laughs> when she met my grandfather, man. Oh, Because my pops was in the Army. He was stationed in Germany, I think. I think he was stationed in uh, Frankfurt, I think. Your pops was a great dude. Oh, great dude. R.I.P. See, the thing is, he would have never done something like this with me. Just, oh, don't say that. Yeah, I don't think he would have. He just would have been like, nah, I'm not interested. Cause Gee! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's bad enough that um, he didn't even like um, cell phones, really. He just had one house number, mm -hmm. one cell phone number his whole life. Yep. He never really rocked the boat, so I guess he probably wouldn't have participated in this. He would have been talking trash to me probably the whole time. It was just like, boy, would you shut up and just watch the damn video? <laughs> he wouldn't even let you have a cell phone. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody got put on before me, man. Like, I remember I had one of them old school uh, prepaid Nokia phones. Mm -hmm. I had to actually buy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I remember the first time I got a text message, I got scared as hell because I didn't know what that shit was. <laughs> My mom sent me a message and I was like, what the hell is this? Are the ghosts trying to get me? Like, I had no idea what a text message was. Yeah. And I was 16 and that was uh, 2001. Yeah, 2001. And I didn't know what the hell I was in for. Hey, but for real, you just still don't know what a text message is. I don't even like them. You send this guy a text, and guess what? Come back with that voice text. <laughs> yeah, he would have did that too, and I would have called him out. I said, I sent you a text message. That boy, call me. He says, Oh yeah, just call me. Yeah. But uh, nah, I don't know what uh, what the deal is with being white. I mean, I'm mixed with white. I don't really feel anything from either side. Both sides can't stand me. <laughs> the, the, the white people look at me. It's like, I don't know. It looked like he got a little bit of that boy in him. <laughs> And then the black people just look at me like, is he one of us? I don't know. <laughs> one of them high yellow. <laughs> oh, wow. I hate hearing high yellow. Oh. I get so many people on the comments on my channel to tell me that I'm acting black. Is that right? Yeah, they really say that. Like, they can't see that I'm mixed. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'd imagine maybe. I mean, this is white. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really pick it apart. <laughs> So many people got something to say, but you know what? Hey, I just eat that one too. Sometimes it's all right. I might talk a little trash to people. Like someone said, like, hey man, why you acting black? I'm like, dude, I'm not black. I'm I'm mixed with black. How about I'm me? Yeah, exactly. I'm acting me. I'm just Eddie B. You know what I mean? Yep. Just like, show me some love. Yep. But uh, this was a funny one. <laughs> like some comedians who throw in some of them jokes, man, when you were talking about, oh man, I was like, she ain't dated a white guy since middle school and now she's in high school. <laughs> she's 32. 
thirteen. It's a good thing that comedy is subjective, man, because then you would actually have to like be like, "That's not funny, boy." <laughs> Talk to your mom and daddy about that one, though. That was a funny ass bit, though. Um, I don't know if he's uh, got anything else uh, out there that you guys would like. If you already know, if you got something that, um, for Rocky Dale Davis, drop me some comments and um, drop me some links in the comments. I mean, and maybe we can get to another one from him. It was pretty good. It was a short clip, so we didn't really get to. I liked him. Yeah. I'd like to hear more from him. He's goofy. You yeah. were talking about that uh, um, that picture of him back in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. Back in them mm -hmm. days, they didn't smile at all in Not the pictures. At all. I don't know what it came from. Selfies done took over and now. It's all this stuff. If people from back in those days would have seen us, they would have been like, shoot them all. <laughs> That's what I really think anyway. They would have been like, shoot them all. But you know what? There's plenty more we could say, but uh, it was a short one, so I'll try to keep it as short as possible. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there. Uh, one more time, uh, Rocky Dale Davis with uh, It's Tough Being White. And if you like that reaction, please put a like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and I'll throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Please and thank you for always remembering. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be Eddie B TV wrapping this one up one more again. Glad to finally have my boy B-Rob on the show with me one time. Um, the reason that my sound is a lot better, it's been that way because he actually hooked me up with this microphone a while back. Because I was telling him about my sound. He watched the cover. He was like, I don't know, man. You want a, you want a microphone? <laughs> I got you, man. Yeah. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been sounding a little bit better. The future is uh, yet to be determined. But uh, we will find out, hopefully, one day if the sound can get a little better. Might add another microphone to the thing, so that way I don't have to... Yo, I got so much more stuff I can do with this whole thing. Yeah, I love it, man. I just got to work good. a little harder, and I got to get a little extra moolah from Uncle Rico, you know? Uncle Rico? He's like, I wish I could go back in time and take state. I got about to watch that as soon as I'm done. <laughs> all right, thank you all for tuning in, man. Uh, hopefully, we can get to another Rocky Dale Davis soon. This was funny enough. Hopefully, another day soon you can come back on. For sure. Bring something, anything at all, uh, whatever music you're into lately. We'll yeah. tackle something. It don't matter. Yep. So, uh, until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.